Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Cracks are turning problems into solutions. This is me Priyasha Das and today I'm up with the day one of the CMAT workshop in which we'll be discussing the innovation and the entrepreneurship related questions. But before that, let me quickly tell you about the Unacademy's Unlock 20 offer, which is valid only till March 16 guys. So don't miss out this excellent opportunity because now you are getting all the subscriptions at a reduced rate and flat 20% off. Now, if you use my code Priyasha 10, you will not be getting 10%, but 20% of discount. You already know the benefits of Plus, where you can raise hand, post doubts, and connect with the tutor live in the class over call. But along with all of this, if you go for the iconic subscription, then you get an additional benefit of one to one live doubt solving and concept clearing as well. That means if you are thinking that you are lagging behind in the batch and not able to understand a particular concept, then now you can get it cleared one on one with the tutor at your preferred time slot something which is a usp of the iconic subscription that you can book the slots at your convenience not provided by any other organization so therefore don't miss out this awesome opportunity because the iconic subscriptions are also running at a reduced rate guys this iconic subscription provides you a complete b school grooming by live mentorship by top b school graduates as well so don't forget to use my code priyasha 10 while enrolling into this iconic subscription so that you get a iconic subscription at a reduced rate and 20 percent discount as well so check out the links in the description box and let's get the video started Hello everyone, so in this video we will be working on our first day for the special workshops conducted for CMAT and the first day is dedicated to the most special section you people are actually looking forward to that's innovation and entrepreneurship related questions. So before we actually jump down to the direct questions which we can expect, we need to know what exactly is innovation and entrepreneurship and how is it related to your management studies, why do they need you to learn or to know these specific terms or the questions and answers so the very first thing which comes to our mind is that entrepreneurship and innovation se related hume kis tarah ke question pooche jayenge which section will be touched so the the section which will they will be putting their maximum stress upon is the glossary their important terms okay so any important term related to innovation or any important term related to entrepreneurship will be a major area from where they will be taking up questions first part like as i said the very first part okay first part will be the glossary so from the glossary they will be picking up words for you and you will have to answer things accordingly the second thing you can focus on is some leading examples examples in the sense uh, if you are talking about startup what is a like a, a mid-tech startup okay things like that what's a unicorn okay so and nowadays like shark tank was so much in trend that you guys must have known some basic uh, definitions for sure but just to uh, you know read through these terms again and these examples again you need to just go through a bit of uh, you know if you just type in google i need not even give you the links if you just type in google the latest news related to the startups then you will see various things popping up so this is the two things which you need to do on your own end that is searching out some glossary terms related to entrepreneurship and the innovation and also setting out some examples and in today's video also i'll give you a question which is you know mixed of all these things which i'm talking about but before that there are certain terms which we need to know so the uh, term list which i have brought for you is not just on entrepreneurship or not just on innovation this is a mix and match of both coming together so when both come together, there are certain terms which we use generally when both of them are coming together. So we will be discussing those terms first and after completing those terms, I will be giving you a certain number of questions and we will be practicing and uh, solving those questions. And then later in the next part, that is day two of innovation and entrepreneurship, I will be taking you forward towards various other things like just a day dedicated to innovation related terms then a day dedicated to entrepreneurship related terms like that 
we'll move into specific now it's important for us to know the general terms so if we go by the first definition innovation the development and implementation of a new idea such as a product or a process that improves how a certain need is met so why do we need innovation in our startups because that should be something which is improving a certain need a certain need needs to be satisfied with the help of a product and that product should have this new idea in it that's the term innovation so innovation is very essential especially why do cmat people uh, focus so much on it because see as i as you all know that cmat is conducted by nta or भारत सरकार को अभी ऐसे फ्रेश आइडियाज की बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत है जहां से वो लोग अपने कंट्री पे लाइक दे कैन स्टार्ट वर्किंग फॉर देयर कंट्री विदाउट एक्चुअली पेइंग अ लॉट दैट मींस इफ यू वुड बी डूइंग समथिंग एज ऑफ अ वेरी फिलैंथ्रोपिस्ट काइंड ऑफ एन एक्टिविटी नॉट एग्जैक्टली पेइंग बट एक्चुअली नॉट रिसीविंग योर पेमेंट्स इन रिटर्न दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी then that will be very much appreciated by the government of india that you know a particular skill but you are not charging for that skill so that is something a bit of you know social service you are doing from your end so that doesn't mean that cmat wants you to do do it like that way but in case you are getting into the entrepreneurship line then in that case you should be focusing on innovating the existing lives of the people especially at the rural places so therefore innovation pe or entrepreneurship pe is particular exam mein kafi stress diya jata hai on the contrary if you go and check out the other uh, like business schools the top business schools like iims or you can say xlri or any other top business school if you go and say in the personal interview round that you want to become an entrepreneur and you are not interested in taking up a placement from the college they are very less likely to accept your candidature for the b school okay so that's why here the dip- case is different here they want you to become a very good entrepreneur and do something for the social cause so that's the basic idea behind that now innovation management is what the process of organizing enhancing and coordinating the organization's innovation process is management quite understood dekho here you don't need to actually learn or mug up concepts yahan par aapko sirf samajhna hai ki agar innovation ka matlab new ideas hai to us new ideas ko implement karne ka matlab innovation management hota hai and why is it important for us to know these definitions because they will give you the definitions and they will ask you which of the following is this okay so you will see the process of organizing enhancing and coordinating an organization's innovation process is called dash and they will give you four examples so this definition based questions as i said the glossary is very very commonly asked in an entrepreneurship and innovation section of cmat now coming to disruptive innovations an innovation that creates a notable change in how the market or the industry's function is called as disruptive this is nothing but vocabulary guys if you know the meaning of disruptive you would be guessing out the meaning of disruptive innovation as well coming down to entrepreneurship the process of creating a new business and taking on any financial risk in hope of making profits to fo- obviously this is very important for solving a social problem that's called entrepreneurship and this is what the cmat actually focuses their guys to have an entrepreneur is the individual okay who runs the business bears most of the risk product development is the process of creating and improving a product and managing it through all the stages of development when until it goes to the market so this comes under entrepreneurship okay that means if you are taking care of a business you are completely liable to the products you are delivering and the products will go through a number of cycle if there are any people who are currently working they must be knowing this thing very much in detail that how even the softwares you develop or even the because software is also a product only right so any product you develop whether it's a physical product or it's a software it goes through various stages of production testing implementation right so these these steps through all the steps 
the product development remains constant intellectual property is the ip so an, an intangible non physical asset that is the result of the individual or the organization's inventiveness is called as the intellectual property this is your idea so you have the ip right over it and ipr stands for ip rights where these are the legal rights that protect the owner of the intellectual property from theft like if i am having uh, like patents copyrights trademarks are example of ipr so if i have come across with some idea i have registered a patent for it then if you are trying to copy my idea i can file a case against you then comes brainstorming a technique for encouraging new ideas that involves a group of people meeting to freely share and discuss their thoughts so of course this is a essential step in all the businesses or the companies or the projects in smaller in smaller domain if i talk and then comes business incubation so the process in which an individual or an organization supports the growth of a startup by providing resources like training physical space etc is called as incubation and i have one such question down below where i'll be giving you a question based on business incubation a very famous uh, company or we can say education <laughs> organization which is pro which is providing a incubation period for the uh, startups okay i'll have an example on question on that so just stay tuned then we have startups so a young company founded by one or more entrepreneurs to develop a product and to bring it bring it to the market is called a startup venture capital is a type of financing provided to the startups and small businesses that are believed to have substantial growth potentials so that is called as venture capital hmm this is quite known to us what's prototype an early model of a product that is used to showcase the concept or the process is called the prototype also called as the blueprint guys and ideation is the process of creating and communicating the new ideas from their initial stage to the implementation stage so this is again related to the innovation end now after knowing these basic terms ab ye sare basic terms important kyu the aaj ki workshop ke liye because whenever we talk about innovation and entrepreneurship hand in hand we talk about these basic terms ye basic terms ek cycle mein kai baar use hote hain when we are researching or when we are reading about innovation and entrepreneurship as a complete passage all right so now it's time for us to get started with the questions so question number 1 is basically related to resources so see as i said you glossary related questions will be making a good roll over here so what are we supposed to do we'll check out the resources refers to so what are resources resources can be manpower can be machinery can be materials okay that means all of them are a part of our resources okay so whenever we are talking about an organization and talking about the resources we need resources can be the manpower the machinery or the materials all of them moving down developing a technology is an example of what a process a project a scope or all of the above so here developing a technology means you are actually working in some aspect right working in some aspect and here do you think that all of them will be correct not really what's the definition okay see i'll tell you a definition and then i'll reveal the answer a piece of work often involving many people that is planned and organized carefully is called as a project and for developing a technology we need to plan and work out with our resources okay and organize it carefully to execute this and that's what project is all about it's not just about the process process and scope is a part of the project but project is on hold the complete thing so the answer for this will be project so see these are all things related to your day to day knowledge about how we work and as i have always been saying this that why do the mba guy like people or the b schools always give preference to the people with work experience over the people who are freshers this is the reason for that 
ऐसे सारे टर्म्स एक वर्क एक्सपीरियंस वाले लोग को ज्यादा अच्छे से पता हो गए कम्पेयर टू दंस हुआ फ्रेशर्स ओके बट दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट दी फ्रेशर्स विल नॉट अटेम्प्ट दिस एग्जामिनेशन ऑफकोर्स यू विल लर्न अबाउट इट नो अबाउट इट एंड अटेम्प्ट दी एग्जाम वॉट्स द बिग डील इन दैट ओके सो मूविंग डाउन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव द प्रोजेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल कंजिस्ट ऑफ डैश so the project life cycle consists of the understanding of the scope of the project objectives of the project formulation and planning various activities and all of the above so there are three things which we could have done here okay so in a project life cycle what happens first we talk about what is the project all about so the client will tell the developers or the team which is concerned with uh, developing the software or maybe any product that okay we want this 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 thing okay so this is understanding the scope of the project objectives of the project is when the group of uh, developers will have a discussion that okay what kind of uh, things do they need like developers here doesn't only mean the software developers it means all the product developers so they will have a meeting and they will decide that as per our discussion with the client what was the objective formulation and planning of various activities is the work of the managers where they will be planning out that okay this is the requirement this is the work distribution you will do this you will do that things like that and finally implementing it that this is the product you receive back so this all steps are a part of a project life cycle okay so you need to understand that the answer to this question will be option d now moving ahead to the question number 4 which of the following is one way that freedom in a private enterprise system is limited okay guys be very specific since you are planning to do an mba they will not expect you to you know be confused in these type of sentences they will expect you to know a basic grammar knowledge ki itna to aapko english samajh mein aana hi chahiye to isliye please read the sentences carefully they are asking you that they are limiting the freedom by one such activity which is that activity so if we read option a we see certain occupations must be licensed so kisi occupation ko license karwana padta hai kisi ko karwana nahi padta that is a limitation or all workers must take liability test this is never a limitation guys this is something which is a requirement and which should be made mandatory in all the industries for better quality of work specific pay scales are regulated isme bhi koi problem nahi hai kyunki ye ho jane se there will be a uniformity and a equality and option d employees must register with the state they are always already registered with the state there is no point of calling this as a limitation so we understand that the answer to this question will be option a that is certain occupations must be licensed and this licensing is a part of limitation on certain private enterprise <coughs> systems okay now then we'll move down to the fifth question that is non cooperation okay so non cooperations are taxed as pass through entities what is the meaning of pass through entities so we what we'll do is first we'll need to know about what a non cooperate entity is so it's a legal entity that does not go through the incorporation process and the shareholders will possess certain responsibilities and the rights that the owners of the other legal entities will not have okay and this corporation can do the following activities like it can enter into agreements borrow and loan money so all this is been you know accepted apart from some major decisions of the stakeholders so these type of corporations are called as non corporations so they are taxed as a pass through entity and what does that mean that the profits and the losses are claimed on the owner's personal tax return because i just now said right that the shareholders will possess some responsibilities and rights okay which the owners of other legal entities might not have so here there is a direct relationship between the corporation and the owner so that makes answer a option a is the correct answer that the profits and the losses are claimed on the owner's personal tax and that is passed through tax passed through entities then we have question number 6 
Which of the following activities is an example of preparing before attempting to sell an idea? So this is quite an obvious question guys. If you are planning to sell an idea in front of anyone, what are the following activities which you should prepare for before going out and selling your idea? So just read the options carefully and this is more of a decision making kind of question than a, what we can say entrepreneurship and innovation type question. So option A says explaining the solutions to the audience needs. Okay, sounds good. Determining the details of your idea. Okay, that's better. Overcoming objections from the audience. This is something you cannot do by yourself because what kind of an objection will be raised by the audience? You should be prepared, but preparing and overcoming is not the same thing. Similarly, affirming the audience decision to buy, you can't affirm a decision and you can't prepare for affirmation. So gone. Now the check is between option A and B that you need to explain the solutions to the audience need and you should be preparing for that or you should be determining the details of your idea. That should be the preparation end. So see, explaining this solution is not something we will attempt or prepare to sell an idea. Okay, what we need to do from our end is determining the details of our idea. See, this is something which is dependent on us. If I know my product well in detail, only then I will be able to explain the solutions, overcome the objections and affirm the decision of the buyer. Okay, but, but all of this is directly related to one activity that is knowing your product in detail. If you don't know your product, you won't be able to do any of the options given below. So that's why option B is the most logical answer. <laughs> Just like decision making, it gave us a, you know, small touch of decision making. Now, question number seven. Question number seven is which of the following statements is true about business startup requirements? So the first thing is new business owners usually need to register for patent protection. Not really. If you are new in the business, doing this as the first step is not required. So this is not the first step. The financial needs to start a new business depend on the nature of the venture. Of course, true. What kind of venture you are going forward to, your financial needs will also depend on the same. Purchasing a franchise is usually easy and inexpensive for the startup business, not really. Equipment is least expensive for startup business, not really. So that means we have our correct answer option B. What is the patent protection, guys? If you guys know what is patent protection, it means that the intervention cannot be commercially made, used or the... <clears throat> I'm, uh, I take back my words, that's invention. Invention cannot be commercially made okay distributed used imported or sold by any other person without the patent owner's consent and that is something which businesses do after establishing themselves in the market because jab aap hai ho, to aapko waise bhi koi nahi janta. <laughs> so that's the point we need to understand that the most true statement about any business startup is its financing needs depend upon the nature of the venture now we'll go down to question number eight, which says if an entrepreneur obtains a commercial bank loan to finance a new venture, then he or she is often required to do what? So loan ke badle mein kya dena padta? It's quite a co common and, you know, common mm, <laughs> question. Okay. A very common sense based question to be specific. Obviously, what are collateral guys? If you guys know the term collateral refers to an asset that a lender accepts as security for a loan. Just say mortgage pe rakte hain. So of course, agar hum ek commercial bank se loan le rahe hain, to we have to provide a collateral. Any other option is not correct because loan ke badle hum log collateral hi provide karte hain. So that's option A. Now question number nine. The government of India has launched the following initiative a few days ago to drive the startup movement in India. What's that name? So the name itself is very much specifically standing out that is stand, Startup India. So it's so easy to no question you expect kari nahi sakte under the category of innovation and entrepreneurship. But yes, one category which I want to tell you is the government of India. So whatever the government of India is doing or India, Indian based universities or 
organizations are doing for the startups this makes news and these news will be surely asked so out of the 20 questions which are expecting in this section you can expect around five questions to be dedicated completely to the section of goi that is government of india the organizations and the industries working forward towards providing the startup funds so this is one important section you need to work on i have some questions from that section as well so let's discuss them Question number 10 says, self-employment among rural and indigenous population is supported by the following type of financial institutions in India. So again, if you apply your common sense, you will get the answer fast. Mega means something big. Micro means something small. Electrification cannot be the answer because we don't just need electrification cooperation. BRICS bank is for the <laughs> big, big countries together. So mega is not for rural and indigenous population. So we are left with only one option that is microfinance institutions. Okay, microfinance institutions would be the answer. And there are certain microfinance institutions which you need to know like Equitas, Small Finance, ESAF, Microfinance and Investments, Fusion Microfinance, Annapurna Microfinance and Arohan Finance Services. These top five SA microfinance institutes are which are rural and indigenous population ko ke mein self employment support. Karne ke liye bane hai. Then we have 11th question. One of the most famous startup ecosystems founded by a premier education institute in India is which of the following? So if you just check out the options, you will see the only one option has a name associated with an educational institute. That's IIT Madras Research Park. Options are bana lete. <laughs> this is the thing which came to my mind when I read this question. At least they could have given the names of few other IITs just to confuse. But no. They are not good at making options. So that's benefit for the student itself, right? So IIT Madras Research Park is the answer to this question. And if you guys know that this research park is the first of its kind to be established in India, which functions to propel the successful innovation and established companies provide a nurturing ecosystem to the startups. Incubation period, starting this is through incubation efforts and technical infrastructure. So, a startup ko beginning mein jis bhi tarah ki resources ya technical infrastructure ki zarurat hoti hai, these kind of research parks actually help those startups. Following its success, 50 research parks were planned to be a part of the Startup India plan about which we have already had a question before by the Central Government of India. They are working towards it, but IIT Madras Research Park is already made. So that's one such big achievement of India. Then we have the last question for the day where who among the following is a famous healthcare entrepreneur? So if you read out the names, it's Dr. Pratap Reddy, Ratan Tata, Gautam Adani. So we know that Dr. Pratap Reddy is the CEO of, he's an entrepreneur and cardiologist as well, guys. He is the CEO of Apollo Hospitals. He founded the first corporate chain of hospitals in India. That's Apollo Hospitals. So you just need to note he is a healthcare entrepreneur because he is the CEO of Apollo Hospitals. Okay. So I just need to check this Apollo spelling. It's double O. Apollo Hospitals. And India today has ranked him as the 48th uh most powerful people in india in 2017 ratan tata is related to the tata group gautam adani is related to the adani group these are like these are conglomerate companies we know so this is not related to healthcare entrepreneurs as uh like a famous healthcare entrepreneur it's just dr pratap reddy so this is one such example where you you remember i gave you a second category that examples are also important so name of certain startups or the name of the famous ceos of those startups or organizations can be a part of your question as well so what was the takeaway from this workshop step one some important terms to be read okay so that you can just go through or prepare yourself for additional questions second thing was that Definitions were important to note because definition related questions are mostly asked. Third was government of India and the organization related questions which are a part of uh, the innovation and entrepreneurship. And the fourth one was examples, examples of various startups, examples of various uh, important famous entrepreneurs. This will be a part of your innovation and entrepreneurship section okay 20 questions we will be preparing for that in my coming workshops i'll be focusing 
only on uh, innovation one day only or entrepreneurship one day and we'll come across more such important terms i'll be giving you at the end of the workshops guys like once i finish all the workshops then i'll be providing you some reading material and content as well so you can check that out as well later when we finish all these things apart from it tomorrow i'll be coming up with another workshop so make sure you hit that bell icon so that you get notified of every new video and make sure you join me on my unacademy live classes as well i come live from monday to friday at 12 noon free live class guys so you can practice more questions on these topics with me live in my class you just need to download the unacademy app that's all you need not do anything else you need to just attend my free classes as you as you are watching the free videos on the youtube and on saturday i come live at 11 am so check me check my live classes out there as well for additional practice questions on these certain topics and i'll be coming uh, with a new video tomorrow till then please take care of yourself and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like the video share it with more and more people and yes if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to the channel as well thank you so much